Ladies and gentlemen, cringe. This mic isn't hooked up to anything. Anyway, Brad and Dan was a fucking disaster. I've been dreading this day. I need something to do with my hands while I talk about this shit. The worst thing I've ever made. Worst, worst movie I've ever made by far. For those that don't know, Brad and Dan was a series on my channel where me and a friend would play characters named Brad and Dan. Uh, I'd be Brad and he would be Dan. And we would both sort of improv and go to places or do things. One time we went to get Dr. Pepper 10. Uh, one series we uh, went camping and we had a bunch of shenanigans happen. Funny shit. It was a very popular series. I remember it was actually popular around at my school and a lot of people voiced that they liked the series so I was like Hey, I'm making movies now. Home Movie the Movie was a success, so why not make a Brad and Dan movie? What are they gonna do next? Make a Brad and Dan movie? Which is a fine idea. Went terribly. Basically, I wanted to make a Brad and Dan movie, but for various reasons I couldn't. And so because I wanted to give the series a proper ending with some closure, I elected to instead of making new content, to make the movie using footage from Brad and Dan series that were filmed but never uploaded for various reasons. Which is a terrible idea because it, now the movie is not a movie, it's, it's a YouTube video. Like, when we were filming the stuff that makes up this movie, we were not expecting it to be a movie. We were thinking of it as a YouTube video. It would be like if I called this video a movie. You would, there's a different sort of, there's different connotations to that. There's different standards you judge things by depending on the medium. And this shit isn't a movie. It's, it's like, an hour, barely an hour, of us just coming up with bullshit. You know, when I reviewed Home Movie, I had a bunch of clips that I thought were funny, and I showed them off because I was like, hey, this is kind of funny, or hey, this is charming. You know, it wasn't, I can't call it a good movie, but it had some charm to it. There's no fucking charm in this thing because it's not a movie. Like, there's no story. It's just us wandering around and improv which is fine for a YouTube video, not for a movie. Uh, the, the plot is that there is none. No, it's, it's that we have to fake our own deaths because we're being sued, so we have to fake our own death. And there's some funny stuff at first, like the scene where we actually do fake our death. Alright, film me. Dying in air quotes. All right, film me. Uh, film me. Uh, uh, make sure the job's done. Wait, no, man. You're supposed to film that and just end the recording after I hit the fence. Some people think I'm dead. Whatever. I'll edit it before you come. Shit. Wait. You need to do that again. I wasn't recording. But most of it went off the rails fucking fast. Because even in every Brian Dancers, we at least had something to work off of. We're walking to get Dr. Pepper 10. We, you know, we're walking to the convenience store. We're even like in the more abstract ones, like we're going camping. There's like a bunch of stuff to work with where we had like a dream sequence where we went to sleep uh, and then, you know, crazy stuff happened. There's some things to expand on there. In Brian Dan, in this uh, movie, we just do random shit until we have enough to make a, a series, is what we thought, but it turned out to be a film. So that's. So that was the first. I fucking dropped it. Who cares? So that was the first series that we filmed but didn't upload. It was called Brian Dan Fake Their Deaths uh, or something like that. Uh, and the reason I didn't upload it was because it was shit. There were some fine moments but it just went off the rails. 
There was no real through line to it. So it just seemed aimless, but not in a good way. And that's how the movie starts. So we're off with that. What a great way to start your film with something that wasn't even good enough to go on YouTube. The next series in this um, anthology is Brian and Dan Go to the Mall, which is when I when I said this movie was cringe. Um, this is the part I'm talking about. I don't like calling things cringe. I feel like it's an overused term, but holy shit is this thing cringy. Uh, basically we just annoy people in the mall. The problem is, is that when you do stuff with like live people, uh, is that most of the reactions we got were just people like fuming with anger. So it's just awkward to fucking watch. And the crate, and you know, we, were, we weren't like jackass or, or bad grandpa where we could have like crazy stuff happen. Like, so we just had to rely on talking and being annoying. I can't watch it back because it is too embarrassing. And I, and the video, the movie is actually, it's a video, it's not a movie. The video is actually uh, unlisted now. Uh, it's not publicly available anymore because of this segment because I just feel like I want no one to fucking see us wandering around the mall and annoying people. Uh, it is funny though, we actually got kicked out of the mall because uh, I, I, think, I think Matthew asked for some dildos or something at a store and they're just like, fuck you and they kicked us out. Uh, the reason we didn't upload that one, it actually wasn't because it was embarrassing. Uh, although I think that was a part of it. Partially because we had uh, we had this idea uh, because we sort of knew it was going to be bad. Basically we had filmed the green screen footage where we were like, what an epic prank! And we would like point at the green screen. So what we would do is we would edit that in so it would be like, the person, us talking to a stranger, and the stranger is just not having it, and it would like, ha, huh, what an epic prank, to sort of make fun of the fact that it's a shitty prank, but that footage, for I don't know how, but it, it got lost, I don't know where it is, uh, maybe I accidentally deleted it or something, I don't know, um, so without that footage, it's just fucking awkward. It doesn't have that level of like satire or irony behind it. So that's the reason that never happened. And if you're wondering how these segments connect, like, oh, we're faking our own deaths. Now we're going to the mall. Um, they don't connect. There's one uh, slide that says one terrible idea later. And then all of a sudden we're at the mall. There's kind of a joke where he, I say, we have to lay low, and then we're at the mall spin, like, you know, making a fool of ourselves. So that was kind of a joke. God, this movie's terrible. Just showing the back of the cover. You notice I put black text on a dark background. Isn't that great? So then the final segment was uh, the main reason I made this movie, because I actually think the segment isn't too bad. It's a little slow at points, but that's really the case with all the Brian Dan stuff. Like, some bits work and some don't. Uh, it was a kind of a hit or miss series. But I like this one. It was intended to be the, the finale for Brian and Dan, like when we filmed it. Uh, and you could probably tell because we, we talk about it at the end, you know, and, and Dan walks off into the sunset at the end. It was a nice ending. And I was like, well, I like that ending. Well, I have a good ending at my disposal. And, you know, it, the whole movie was made to get to this ending. That's the part that really mattered. And it's fine. It's what you would expect from a Brad and Dan finale. There it is. No, no. You can't keep doing the same shit. Every now and then, you gotta change, you gotta evolve. That's the moral to this story. I'm hammering it in so that everyone gets it and no one is confused. So, uh, 
I got a orange Fanta. You got a Mountain Dew. One last time. One last toast. Bye, Dan. <laughs> to say about it we make fun of like sequels and how they do the same thing as the first movie uh, which doesn't really make sense because this is the first movie but we're talking about like this being a sequel to the series which wouldn't make sense if you haven't seen the series but who fucking cares at this point so you may be wondering after all this if this was a backup plan what was the original plan and well uh, I, I have the footage that we shot. We shot a little bit of the original plan footage. Uh, here it is. Where's hentai when you need it? Hey, okay, man, let's go. I gotta make a big deal. Is that, Is that a ride? ride? <laughs> it's right here, my dudes. Let's just walk. We got Taco Bell. We got Taco Bell pretty uh, quickly. I mean, I, I thought that would be like a whole adventure, you know? I know, right? Yeah. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Taco Bell. 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 That could be like an hour and a half movie, per se. Like, dude. And, you know, and it's just like, we just went there and came back. Yeah. It's an adventure. It's, it's I mean, we just need something to go on an adventure for. It's a fucking Whoa. So, that's what we were going with. Uh, that's all we filmed. That little segment was all we filmed. But, I have my document right here for the original plan. So I'm going to read out the entire original plan right now. So what they see on the TV is an advertisement for a new video game called Call of Battle 8 Revengeance. I don't know what we were thinking with this whole uh, bait and switch because basically in the lead up to the movie uh, we were saying it's about Brand Dan going to Taco Bell and that's basically what we said the movie was gonna be. And I don't know, I guess I thought I was clever, cause they go to Taco Bell in the first like scene, in the first scene, and then it's actually about them trying to get a video game. And like, I don't understand why it's a video game. Like, it, it should be like a, a soda with a number at the end. Cause we got Dr. Pepper 10, Coke Zero, Pepsi 1000. There you go. That's what we're trying to get in the movie. Why is it a video game? Uh, they decide to get the game, uh, but it doesn't come out for a while, so they save up money, and the rest of the movie takes place two months later. So they save up enough money to get it, and they start going out on an adventure. Some of, some of this stuff doesn't really... It's basically pieces of a story because a big part of the Brian Dan series was improv. So I'll, there's just a note here that says they comment on various things they come across in, in brackets, improv. So basically we would walk down uh, the street. It would be basically be like the other Brian Dan series for a while. We would just walk down and shoot this shit about whatever. And then basically Derek would just 
hijack someone's car? I'm not making this up. Well, I did make this up like six years ago, but you, you know what I mean. Basically steals someone's car and is like, come on, get in, guys. And we're like, what the fuck? Why'd you just steal this dude's car? And he's like, fuck you. And then he drives off without the money. So how does he plan on getting this game? Uh, and then Brad and Dan run away. Uh, and that's the end of Act 1, apparently. So then... Uh, Brad and Dan, without Derek, uh, they walk across and they go, not just in the neighborhood. So my big thing was like, oh, uh, Home Movie the Movie was just in the neighborhood. So this time it's going to be bigger. It's going to include, like, the freeway and it was basically the larger neighborhood. The corner store that's, a, like, a block away or, you know, stuff like that. So, so they would keep walking and walking, and there would be improv and fun times, I guess. Uh, and then they would come to the GameStop, but they would realize it's across a freeway, a busy freeway. And they're like, fuck, how do we get across? And then they see Derek. This is so stupid the way I've written this, because I've written it so that Derek walks out, and then Brad final just now notices that the money they saved up for the game has been stolen. So apparently Derek did steal the money, but we, he, nobody noticed until this moment when he sees Derek walk out with the game. So they're like, "Oh man, we got we got to catch Derek." And it was I was planning this intense scene where it's like close up on Brad's eyes. He's like we gotta stop him, man. We, we gotta run after him. And then Joseph's like, uh, dude? And then it would cut to a wide shot of like the freeway. And it would be like, oh yeah, there's a big freeway in between us. And then there would be this dramatic moment of Brad giving his hat to Dan and then running across the freeway. And it's totally unnecessary too. Like it could just be they walk up to the GameStop, but they're like far away, and then they see Derek come out, and they're like, oh shit, we gotta chase him, and then just have a chase scene, and it would accomplish the same thing, and it would be much simpler. So anyway, uh, there would be a big fight between Brian Dan versus Derek, and Derek would somehow win? Like, it's a two-on-one fight, and Derek was not expecting this, but he wins, okay. So then they they rest next, they get some Taco Bell again. So I guess it, it, it's, it comes full circle. Um, clever writer I am. So then Brad realizes that uh, the game, the game is on a console that Derek does not have. He doesn't own it. So he must be heading to Brad's house and neither does Joseph. Sorry, Dan. It doesn't matter. We use our real names all the fucking time in the series, so it doesn't really matter. And Dan doesn't own it either, so he, so Derek must be heading to Brad's house to steal his, his console. So they're like, oh shit, if we run now, we might be able to beat him. I don't know what happened to Derek's car that he stole. So Brian and Dan steal some bikes. Uh, which is to explain how they get there at about the same time. Uh, so they get in the neighborhood of Brad, which would be my neighborhood. And then uh, there would be this big scene. It would be half chase, half fight. And it would basically be uh, me and Dan trying to get the game for Matthew. Big fight, big chase, energy. And then me, Brad and Dan would win. And then they'd play the game, realize it's a piece of shit, and then go back to Derek and throw the game at him. Um, which is the exact same ending as the first Brad and Dan series, but with like one extra joke. So yeah, that was the full original plan for Brad and Dan. It also would have sucked, but like Home Movie, I feel like this would be a lot more charming and uh, tolerable than what what I actually made. I feel like the characters of Brad and Dan deserved a better movie than this. And that's weird because they're just like YouTube series characters. But I don't know. I feel like they deserve better than this pile of shit. 
I feel like they deserve better than this pile of shit. So anyway, I'll see you later. But first, I'm gonna do something I don't normally do on this channel, and I'm gonna destroy this pile of crap.